Using AI with Home Assistant seems to be becoming more commonplace nowadays with people turning to the likes of ChatGPT to write YAML for complex automations or to help them understand some YAML for an automation. But this all seems like the easy stuff. What if AI could understand your smart home? What if it could know what the relationship is between the devices in your smart home? What if it could fill those gaps for you so that it could improve your smart home? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you something which could well be the future of AI and Home Assistant. Hey everyone and welcome to a new video on Byte of Geek. Yes, using AI to generate YAML automations is seemingly becoming more commonplace. You know, being able to take what we're asking it to create and, well, you know, get in there eventually once we've uh, tweaked it once or twice, but it comes up with the result that we generally want. But this is us using AI to write complex automations or for new users to get up to speed with Home Assistant relatively quickly. It's us asking AI to write something, us providing the knowledge of our smart home, you know, providing the details of the devices, the entities, etc. You know, we're doing the work for AI to go and write the code. It's just purely saving us time. And there's nothing wrong with that, but AI could do an awful lot more with Home Assistant. Now I've stumbled across a project on GitHub which could very well be the future of AI and Home Assistant and that integration is called AI Automation Suggester. Now AI Automation Suggester uses online or local AI models to integrate with your Home Assistant installation. Instead of you asking the AI model to write some YAML, AI now has access to all of your devices, your entities, your automations, or, you know, all of those kinds of details to be able to understand your smart home configuration and provide you with the automation suggestions. And because it knows you've got a smart bulb and a motion sensor in a certain area, it's able to work out that it can combine those together to be able to trigger an event to give you a certain result. You install AI Automation Suggester via Hacks, adding it on as a third-party repository, and during setup, you're asked if you want to use a local or an online AI service. Now, using something like an online service, you need to be aware that you could be potentially passing sensitive information to that, so you need to be comfortable with that if you're going to go that route. Obviously, there is also the added cost to using those services as opposed to something local. I chose to go the local route and install Alarma on my Unraid server along with the Gemma 3 model. I did try some other models as well and they're just as good. It's just the Gemma 3 model has a smaller footprint for you know, this use case. Now, once installed, AI Automation Suggester runs automatically, basically taking the information within your smart home system and you know, running that through the AI model, suggesting improvements to you know, maybe existing automations or coming up with new automations where you, you could well have missed an opportunity to go and create something. Now it can run automatically every week or it can run when you go and add in a new device or entities and you've also got the ability to go and run it uh, just by doing a service call within Home Assistant. So the suggestions appear in the side panel of the Home Assistant desktop, similar kind of way as uh, you know you get notifications about new devices, you know when they're discovered by Home Assistant, and um, you know as you can see here, you know it's come up with a few for me uh, after the initial install, and so one of them is a is a missed opportunity. It's it's kind of looked at my security camera setup and said, hey, you know you you've got something missing here that you could go and implement and then you know it's looked at some existing automations um, so we've got a, in our lounge we've got a smart plug with a um, you know a Feliway diffuser for our cat and you know we've run that from early morning to uh, you know late evening and it's and it's come up and it said you know if you were to combine it with a sensor uh, and, and detect the cat then you know you could um, you know effectively just have it triggered when there is the the cat moving around or or not within the room so you know interesting observations you know but it's got that knowledge of 
you know the devices within my smart home it also the, you know because it's ai it also knows that the feliway goes with a cat uh, so i thought that was quite interesting now a little bit later on and further suggestions have been made about the uh, freezer door alarm that i uh, set up with one of the sensors a while ago um, you know it's also you know come up with another suggestion for the security camera in my garden uh, you know so obviously you know it, it's looking at what I've implemented and what I'm not and, and kind of you know trying to hone that in um, you know to, to give the best suggestions available now as well as having the results on a side panel on your uh, your home assistant desktop you can go and configure a, uh, a dashboard to have them displayed there as well which just makes uh, readability a little bit easier now it's worth noting as with all kind of local AI setups you, you're going to need something fairly powerful uh, you know especially given this you know if you've got a lot of devices and automations and areas etc in your setup you know this is a lot of data for it to process now the roadmap for this integration is on the github page but um, you know there are a few items on there at the moment and uh, you know one revolves around having a bit more interactive uh, capability uh, with the suggestions that are coming back from the AI model. Uh, another one is to um, you know have a one-click deployment of the uh, the automations into your system. I think that would be a really good and kind of like you know finishes off the the whole aspect of the uh, automation uh, suggestion. Um, you know, I, I just think, you know, this potential on, on this integration is absolutely huge. You know, when you think about this, you know, if the AI models have a, a, a deep understanding of, you know, your devices, your entities, your areas, uh, your automations, your scenes and all that kind of stuff, what's stopping it from being able to create you, you know, ultimate dashboards with all the relevant scenes and automations and devices on those dashboards, you know, creating your notifications, um, you know just on the flat you know just really really you know stuff that is a pain to do sometimes uh, that, you know that you constantly faff around to try and get it just right and you can have you know something in, in a click of a few buttons go and create all of this for you because it knows about your smart home now I'm going to be keeping a close eye on this project to see how it kind of like pans out going forward but you know, I want to thank uh, Graham Hosking for starting this project. You know, I don't know Graham, um, but, you know, I will put a link down to his GitHub page and this project in the description, uh, you know, below this video if you're interested in trying this out. But I'd really like to hear your thoughts around this integration. You know, is this something you would consider using? You know, are you going to click on that link and go and download it and, and give it a try. Or are you already using this? You know, how's that working out for you? You know, let me know down below in the comments, you know, could this be the future of how we use AI within Home Assistant? Really, you know, a topic to discuss away, I think, down below in the comments. Um, but if you've enjoyed this video, then don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. But as always, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.